of people who have platforms and power to speak but are afraid mm -hmm. to use those platforms for fear of their board, their shareholders, or the public, you know, getting canceled. What's your advice to those people who have the power and platform mm -hmm. to speak but aren't doing Jimmy, so? Can you repeat? I would give that, uh, there's actually two sides to the answer that I would like to give to that. One part of it is that we have a job to do. Mm. We have to let them know that they are supportive. We have to let them know that we will buy their products and services. Uh, we, have to, we have to be organized and we have to speak up if they are willing to actually take a stand, we need to be prepared to support them in that. And I think too often we're too quiet mm. uh, about it because that's just the nature of our beast. You know, we're kind of like, you know, live and let live folks. And, and we, we, we need to be proactive about it. And there, I will, I will do a quick plug for one of our partner organizations, Gender Fair, that, is, that actually can tell us all where to spend our money Mm. Uh, with, with, with companies that actually do have family-friendly policies that actually do support the causes we support. And I think that's the kind of thing that we need to do to systematize it so that people can easily find out um, where, should I be, where should I be spending my money. And that's what talks. Mm -hmm. That's what ultimately talks. Um, the other thing that is important is the uh, flip side of that coin is for the, it, it, there's hardly a company that can get away with not taking positions on things today. Now they might've been able to get, to get away with that, you know, 50 years ago when they would say the business of business is business and they didn't, they didn't take positions on any of these things. The, the employees today expect the companies they work for to have some kind of ethical positions. And, and, and they're going to be paying attention to it. And so do shareholders and so do, so do uh, customers. So I think it's, uh, so, cus so companies and organizations and individuals can no longer just shy away from taking positions because they're going to be called to, to task by somebody at some point. And so if they're going to be called to task by somebody at some point, they had better figure out which side of history they want to be on. Mm -hmm. And they better look at the data that says, oh, 90 some odd percent of Americans use birth control. Oh, 90 some odd percent of Americans support the Equal Rights Amendment. Oh, how about that? You know, they, they, need to, they need to not listen to just the loud voices. They need to actually figure out where they want to stand.